Oh hey, it's me Kayvon, by far your favorite half-Persian comedian, and boy do I have news for you. So, I thought I would talk to you about something very interesting that just came across my desk. As it would turn out, Joe Biden, according to this article, has tapped the first ever gay cabinet member. That's a funny title there. Joe Biden has tapped the first ever gay cabinet member, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, to be Secretary of Transportation. That's all well and good, except Pete Buttigieg is not the first ever gay. Rick Grinnell, picked by Donald Trump, was the first ever gay cabinet member. So the Democrats, once again, are obsessed with being the first of everything, even though they're not. I even heard one who said, well, he's the first ever second gay cabinet member. Good one, didn't think of that. Now, obviously, as a comedian, you have to be very careful because jokes about Mayor Pete Buttigieg can decline, they can go down a path you didn't want to go down, if you know what I mean. And I, for one, would never take it there. I don't uh, lower myself to that level. Uh, there are jokes to be made. I could say, oh, Pete, butt judge. He's judging dudes' butts, you know? But I'm not going there. I think it's disrespectful, and we can do better. I don't point out that he's from South Bend, Indiana, although that naturally might be funny to some people. Not my crowd, certainly not you. We are above that. However, as you know, I do political videos and I do have some connections on the inside of the White House. And apparently, Pete Buttigieg has taken this job very seriously. He already comes to us with some very forward-thinking ideas for the Secretary of Transportation. Now that's quick. All of these are emails I printed out, plans he's been sending to Joe Biden the minute he got tapped by Joe. Uh, here was one that was just, it blew my mind. Um, expect a few changes, President Biden. First of all, all one-way signs he intends to remove. That way people can go both ways. Thought that was interesting. Uh, second, there will be mandatory exhaust pipe checks at every truck stop starting January 21st. That's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, here was one. Mayor Pete demands all men learn how to drive stick and he gets to watch. I don't know what that's all about. Route 66 will officially be renamed the more festive Route 69. Spruces things up a bit. This one, peeing on the side of the highway is now fully legal provided you don't hide behind your car. There you have it. He demands everyone blows their horn and often. Mayor Pete intends to put rumble strips down the middle of the highway so it vibrates while you drive. If you know any of our police officers and first responders, they're gonna be interested in hearing this. Uh, Mayor Pete intends to defund all police uniforms until they're sleeveless. And all handcuffs from now on will be required to be fuzzy. The menacing red and blue lights on the top of squad cars will be replaced with disco balls. And the sirens will not make the hideous sound anymore. They will from now on say, woo, 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 woo. Not gonna support all of these ideas. Some of them are good, some are just experimental. I don't think they'll stick. In an effort to reduce violence, Highway Patrol will only be allowed to slap potential criminals. Ah, nightsticks can still be used, but only with consent. That is important. Here we have one. The Canine Patrol will officially be welcoming teacup Yorkies to the force. That could be cute. Uh, when it comes to train transportation, Mayor Pete will always be found all up in the caboose. He'll be paying special attention to the roadways of Pennsylvania and putting all his efforts into the Hershey Highway. Long overdue, folks. In airport travel, Mayor Pete wants it to be known that flight attendants will be largely unchanged under his tenure. And we're down to the last one they sent me, but I'm sure there's more coming. This is a big one. Uh, to show the importance of the job, Mayor Pete will dress like a train operator on Mondays, a construction worker on Tuesdays, a police officer on Wednesdays, a fireman on Thursdays, and a pilot on Fridays. Saturday and Sunday will be choose your own adventure. Well, there you have it, folks. If you can think of any other things Mayor Pete might do as Secretary of Transportation as the first ever, second ever gay cabinet member, then put it in the comments below. If you hate my jokes, go ahead and call me racist, bigot, sexist, or Islamophobic. Those words seem to make you feel powerful. Tell everyone you're offended. We all care to read that. And everyone else, you can find 400 more of my videos on youtube.com slash comedy pick up an item on my website and support my comedy kvon.tv under the shop and more importantly you can go on gofundme.com 
slash tanks god. Any donation you make goes to the sound crew, the lighting, the editing, the writers, and the people that make this show possible. Have fun out there, and we'll see you with all these new restrictions transporting yourself through the skies, on the freeway, or on the railroads. Bye.